again and welcome back to my channel. I am trying to get better at posting. This is going to be a super like talky, chatty, ranty um, tutorial. I'm trying to make it really quick because I have to go somewhere right now. Um, this is like out of focus. I'm lane. Hello. And I'm super sorry if the entrance is super choppy but like my camera is like running out of space. So I'm like, Ugh. so yeah. Hello, welcome. And okay, here it is. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion little bit of light over my eyes. I am so blind by this light so I'm not gonna like look in it and literally the camera's right here but the little lens focus thing is right there and I'm just like well which one should I look at? Not the lens focus. Not the lens focus. <laughs> um so yeah just putting this all over my eyes. Love it for oily eyelids. I think it's the only one I ever use honestly because look it's that good. But yeah. Um, today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. Just a bunch of delicious purpley marbles. Oozy poozy. I don't think it's on autofocus, so I don't think that focus. But let me zoom you guys in. And now I can like actually see if I'm actually... Oh, look at that. So first I'm going to be taking vanilla nuts right here and just using that to set my eyes with. Oh my gosh, this is so handy, this lens focused. Lens focused. So yes, putting that all over. This is going to be, I hope, a really quick tutorial. So maybe you'll be able to see everything because I really have to go, like, right now. Next color, I'm taking Fresco, which is this one right here. Not focusing, I'm sorry. And I'm taking a Sephora tapered crease brush, number 19. And I'm just going to put that all right here. Like so. Still not fully blended out. I don't care. Um, and now I'm going to take Cake Royal right here. Same brush, still the tapered, and just like tap it onto the other edges, like so, and I then bloop and bloop with it. So yeah, like so. Ooh, la, la. I kind of wish I had like a orangey color so I can put in creases. Okay, so I kind of just plop that very sloppily. And now I'm going to be taking the Sephora, I should not be talking while I grab things, the Sephora Featherweight Crease Brush, it's number 38, and I'm going to use that because it's fairly clean, fairly I say, and just blend out my edges. Yeah, I wish I had like an orangey color to add into the crease. Oh well! And blend that out. Like so. Mm -hmm. And we're honestly taking like mediocre at best because like I don't care. But oh my gosh, I'm gonna go see Grace Halbig right now, which is why I'm like, uh, Christina, you have to go. You have to go, lady. For eyeliner, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Eye Studio thingy in the number brown. <laughs> in the number brown. And I'm using the little thing it comes with. I like it. Don't judge me. Um, yesterday I used like a purple eyeliner and I really liked that. And so just gonna sloppily like apply this on. I'm gonna get closer. And the back seat of your rower. I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush. This is like the dome shadow brush. No, deluxe crease brush. From Real Techniques, obviously. Everyone knows this brush lean. 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 For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Nanar Sheer Glow in Punjab, and I am going to put that on the back of my hand, like so, and put that right here, tell them you know, and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques um, sponge, and yeah, I've been really loving using sponges lately, because they just give you a nice, flawless finish, and like, it looks like your natural skin, it's not heavy, not streaky. So like if you haven't used one, like before I'd be like, oh my gosh, why is everyone using a beauty blender in their freaking makeup tutorials? Like just use a brush. It looks just the same. And I would like, I tried this 
but then I was like, wait a second, this looks so much better. It's not caked on, and it's hard to talk when you're bouncing around your nose. Like everyone says. And so, I love it. Plus, like I said, if you like need to go back in like certain areas, then you can. It just, I don't know, it's just life changing. Sponges, like, I don't know if I can go back to a brush. And I have oily skin, but it gives me like a nice glow that I really like. And I think this foundation's a little too yellow for my skin. I'm going to be going with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in light new. And then here. And then here. Like that. This is honestly my favorite concealer. I don't know why it's a foundation. It's not foundation. But it probably could be. And then using the little tippy tip to kind of get under there. And then deep do that. I know. You're like, you're crazy. I know. I know. My mom knows too. So now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier um, powder and I'm going to bake under my eyes. Well, what are you, Christina? Why are you baking? Because I tried it and I liked it. Because I have like creasing problems underneath. And honestly, it helps. I'm going to put that there. And then right here I have the line. I know. 21 and I already have freaking wrinkles. It's just the life I live. And then put a little here for redness. Bounce it around and then a little bit here because I have some like pimple residue holes that I like to fill in a little bit. Oh I just realized I didn't put a pigment on. I was going to. I was actually going to. And I forgot to grab a Oliver face powder. So I'm just gonna use this. This is called what you don't do in a tutorial. Or when you only have a certain amount of brushes. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my leg and hope that it doesn't fall. Okay, so I'm just gonna powder my face with this teensy tiny brush. I see YouTubers sometimes like forget to like grab their little brushes for their face. I don't know how they do it. It's really hard. I mean it's doable but not the same. Okay, and then I'm gonna brush that off now. And then there's two. And if you can hear in the background, it's raining outside. So this is probably all for nothing. Uh, uh, also today, um, like I said, I'm gonna go see Grace Helbig and Mamie Hart and Anna Hart. Did I say? I totally messed those names up. Mamie, Anna, and Gracie. And um, after that, probably come back home and then after that I'm gonna go to the what am I gonna do? Probably like I don't care just show me the makeup story. Now I'm going with the Kevin Aquan contour kit and I'm using the contour -y shade for this. I'm just gonna buff that in. This is honestly my favorite contour shade. Like I know it's expensive but it was free for me from my fave supports. Ignore my bed if you haven't looked at it. It's a mess. <laughs> and then just like a little bit under there. I think my camera's gonna stop recording in a second. That's cool. And then bronzer, the Bobbi Brown bronzer in Golden Light number one. Put that all right here. Right here. And then here. And here. And then down the nose. And I'm literally using the camera finder to do this all. So I'm gonna look so bad. <laughs> and for blush, I'm using the NARS Orgasm. And I'm using this. I haven't been telling you the names of my brushes, sorry. I like to just put it on the cheeks, the apples of the cheeks, and then just kind of blend back. I don't know why, usually I like to put it like actually on, like here, but I don't, I've been liking like just like a soft, subtle like, oh, I want their phone. Let me grab a highlight brush. What's new? So, my favorite Laura Mercier um, highlight in matte one. Definitely not matte. Beautiful. So, just putting that there. 
Ooh, ooh. I was gonna put WhatsApp because I do like to layer them together and that just like gives like a nice little touch of like, ooh, you're, you're wet. Now with like a teeny tiny definer brush, I'm gonna go in with it right here. Make me look alive. Zoom in with my own person. A real life zoom. Going under here a tiny bit. Under there a tiny bit. Eyebrows on this is okay. And then why did I miss it? First, I'm gonna go in with the grandiose from Lancome. Amazing mascara. Love it. Baby expensive though. So yeah, just gonna go on with that. I got this during holiday when it was in a set, so do that. I feel like they always have it in a set, and like it was a really good set, so make sure it's a good one. Tomorrow, I want to see um, The Disaster Artist with James Franco, Dave Franco, um, Alice and Brie, Zac Efron, and Seth Rogen, and James Franco directed it together, or produced it. I'm not really sure. My SD card ran out of space. So sorry, I finished everything with the eyes and then I'm just gonna go over top with the Grandiose with the Sephora, not the Sephora, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't know why it keeps on stopping. So just going over and if it stops. So my camera keeps on stopping, but that is the end of the video. I hope you have liked it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, like, subscribe, all those fun things, and I will see you guys next time. Bunny wave! Okay, bye. When you realize the face over there and you didn't grab it flat.